You have arrived at the KOE Nation. Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for a very special spirit review of the Glen Murray line here, folks. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes you the podcast cower, the prince and potentate of the political parlance. One damn handsome man, if I do say so myself. And you can, of course, find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and now Twitter as well. And I am joined this evening by my indomitable mm-hmm. broadcast partner, the one, the only, the 15 time revolutionary wrestling podcast champion. I am non chill filtered, quadruple distilled, and bourbon barrel finished. Ooh, nice, nice. So, Tony, before we, uh, pour here, uh, Glenn Murray. What part of Scotland does it hail? This is the Spey side. Oh, the River Spey. Yes. So, Tony, okay, you know me. I'm a little bit of a Highland snob. You are. But, boy, howdy, does the Spey side uh, attract me more than once. It's I've been tempted this is by gonna, the River Spey. This is going to attract you four times over, because what we have here is this is a fresh bottle that I'm not even a giant fan of in the past of the Cabernet Cask Finished Glen Murray. Guess what? 40% ABV. Um, I'm going to say that over uh, two very long evenings um, discussing many lives, life and truth, I knocked out an entire bottle of that over two very long evenings. All right. Let's hear the pop. Marvelous. A plus for, Marvelous. I mean, let's be frank. Glenn Murray is not what people think of when they think of like top-end whiskeys like Glen no. or Dalmore or something like that. Now, roughly, you're going to pay anywhere from $29.99 a bottle to $39.99 a bottle for any of these cast finished Glen Murray. Cabernet. Oh, I'm going to love that tea. Oh, my God. Oh, give yourself a, oh. a pour. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's a, just a bag of fruit, mm. baby. Mm. Now, T, I'm a wine snob. Indeed. A little bit of of wine. That's why you were necessary for this. All right, well, do the Cabernet. Okay, that's dry red. (sighs) Yeah, which is not my... Out of all the wines here on the table... And you you get more cask here. Cabernet is my least (laughs) favorite out out of the bunch. So, ugh. The nose, yeah. But I, I... This, to me, smells like if you mixed a dry red wine with Johnny Walker. That's what this smells like to me. Dude. That's exactly what this smells like to Specifically, me. Specifically. Like Johnny Red. No, I was going to say Johnny Gold. Uh, I know that's... It's a good Johnny. Minimal Pete. And it's got the cab finish. With I would some like with a heavy char. So there's like a lot of wood that got in there. I'll move to Johnny Double. <laughs> oh well, there you go, folks. <laughs> now we get into the tasting part, T. Yes. Good luck editing these solo reviews. Oh yeah, because you're gonna be bouncing back. Oh, I'm, I'm aware, but I, <laughs> I'm I am above it, folks. You you won't even be able to tell. I might even like edit it in, edit in a few like standing ovations where like people think like ah, Phil, Phil, Phil. Yeah, don't worry, it'll be awesome. And I'm out. No, just no. Nope, I'm, nope, I'm out. That was Tony's um, was my final review. appearance. No, that was, that, was, that, was it. that was that. Tony, uh, that was his yep. retirement. That was his swan song. <laughs> All right, Glenn Murray, Cabernet, task finished. Now, again, dry this red. is dry red with oaky cask influence. Yeah, and you... Like, one time I actually got a California cab that was finished in a bourbon barrel. Wow. And I feel like it was to fix some of the harsher edges on the cab, but I liked it. Yeah, you get a lot of that peat on the nose the longer this sits. And I'm imagining that's what we're going to get on the palate as well, so... Yeah. Slangeva. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. 
Makes you think of Pete a little bit. See, and yeah, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this is a, a Highland or a Lowland finished in Cabernet. Man, that's dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's dry. Yeah. It's really, really dry. Or like one of them weird cask finished Campbelltons. Mm. Mm hmm. You know what? Yeah, I agree. Campbellton would be more reminiscent of what that brings. To yeah, like I, like honestly, that's the one that's the most divergent from house style. Yeah, and, and we just opened it here fresh yeah. for you folks. So I, how interesting. Like, yeah, that one makes me think Campbellton. Yeah, not... yeah, it, it is a space side. We know this, but yeah, it, after having a Campbellton, that that tastes like a Campbellton. You are hundred percent correct. Now, mm. now Tony. Now we get to a very interesting part here, and that is the grading of each of these whiskeys. All right, so okay. we're going to grade grade them all as a single malt, as a scotch, as a whiskey. It's shelving, and for those new to the show, the secret fifth question. Tony, Glen Murray, Cabernet, Cask. <laughs> Finished. Yeah, I had to buy that bottle Five just so we could do this review. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and rip some band-aids off here. Scotch. Mm. I'm sorry. Nice try, Glenn. Marie. Two stars. A single malt scotch. As a single malt. Two stars. As a single malt scotch, I'm actually going to give it 3.25. Because this is more proof of type what people who typically drink scotch are going to find. This somehow manages to find it's got a scotch base that's welcoming. It The Cabernet somehow managed to bring the peat out of itself. I, it magically appeared, which scotch drinkers, scotch drinkers love them some peat. Got it. This, this is proof of type. So yeah, three, two, five. Okay. Um, as a scotch... As a scotch, uh, 275, I'm going to say. I'm going to stick with two stars okay. as a scotch because, eh, like, if you like peat, there's amazing stuff on the Isles and the Lowlands and even the Campbelltons that can be found. Um, this one didn't impress me, and I love Cab, so I don't know what to say here, but two stars. Okay. Um, in terms of a whiskey. Oh, as a whiskey, this is a one and a half star for me. This doesn't, this doesn't check any of the boxes for whiskey. Uh, you can't do shit with this other than drink it like that. And I'm not a big fan. And in terms of whiskey, yeah, one and a half stars. I gotta be honest. To thine own self be true. Socrates first commandment. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now, shelving. That's a bottom for me. I'm not, That's a not. bottom for me too. Though. Yeah. Um. Now, when this bottle runs empty, the secret fifth question: no. Will you seek another? No. I didn't even want to. I don't even want this one. But we had to do this review. Like I you don't give it to me. But do we know anybody we could gift this to? You never poker. Game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Bring that for poker night. Um. Yeah. All right. Glen Murray line. Wow. It's been a long time coming, but we finally gave you your just due. So, D, this is not here. All that being said, thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation, folks. You can, of course, find me, Bill KOE, at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. And I hope all of you make it back here to the KOE Nation happy, healthy, much the wiser. God bless every last one of you. Raise a glass to yourselves. Tony, take it away. This has been uh, very interesting, very scientific, long time coming. Glad we finally got to do it. A couple of these bottles are going to disappear very, very soon. Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. KOE Nation, like, share, subscribe. We're going to give you the hard-hitting, honest reviews that other people, frankly, are probably afraid to do. That's what you come here for. Thanks for stopping in. We'll catch you on the next.